We can't deny that gesture interaction is one of the most competitive interaction choice for e use. Compared to other modern interaction systems such as voice recognition, gesture interaction systems will be more quiet, precise, and more user-friendly. You don't want to break the conversation with the passages, just want to pull a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. Turn on the easy. Ah, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm talking with the In this lab, we investigate different auditory displays that work as our auditory cues to help the user locate different menu items. But even the best sound result is nearly possible. Not suitable for the actual product development because they can't solve the ultimate problem, the visual distraction caused by the secondary tasks. In the past experiments, we used the NAS Minisim simulator to create a simulated driving environment. We placed the display on the side where the most in-vehicle infotainment system is placed. The participants can't help themselves not looking at the monitor during the gesture interaction process, which made them look away from the roadway and cause accident. A heads-up display was introduced to solve this problem. The hardware let the user to see through it to see the traffic, but in the meantime make the gesture interaction much easier. As for the gesture interaction system, we used the limb motion camera for the hand gesture tracking device. We placed the tracking device at the side for the user to use. We will let the participants test our system during driving in designated driving scenarios, but under different four conditions with or without auditory display and the heads-up display versus traditional head-down display. To further investigate the potential improvement of the user situation of awareness brought by the heart, we will add an unusual incident and the heart and the heads-up display will both provide caution warning and interrupt the ongoing hand gesture interactions. The participants will wear the Toby eye tracker to record their eye movement, which will help us determine which condition has less visual distraction and many men become more focused on the road. The experiment is still ongoing. Stay tuned for the final result. <laughs>